We are starting at one edge of the rainbow with red. Red sort of leans into life, doesn't it? In fact, science shows red makes our heart beat faster and our metabolism increase. It's found in our holiday celebrations. It's found on our team sports. I am so pleased to be able to share Red Day with artist Brittany Jepson. It appropriately in her red. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everybody be th better be this excited about Blue Day, too. I'm just saying. Oh, I mean, blue kind of indicates sad, but let's hope. Well, I, on the sports front, I just hope there's equal representation. That's all mean. I'm saying. You celebrate color every single day too. in your workshop. She's amazing at it over at the house that Lars built. What is it about color that motivates you and inspires you as a creator? <sighs> color, there's so much you can do with color. I, I mean, it, like you said, it symbolizes things and it, it lifts your mood according to which color. I've just always been attracted to bright colors um, and making and making color combinations and it's limitless. Your current project, your latest project, surrounds the idea of color. You are announcing, you're here to announce the release of your new book, which is called Craft the Rainbow. And this really puts your love for color right on the pages. It, yeah, it was it, it was many years in the making, maybe a lifetime in the making. Um, so I, I run the house that Lars built a craft design blog and so it's something we experiment with all the, every day and with Craft the Rainbow it's um, 40 different projects in every single color of the rainbow. Amazing. So just Amazing. like you're having every day a new color, yeah. every chapter is a different color and so there's crafts in red, crafts in pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple and then rainbow. Something about the OCD part of my brain loves this. Loves kind of segmenting. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> We're pulling from the pages of your red chapter. So what project yeah. do you suggest to celebrate red? Yes, so this one I was trying to think what would be great. Um, and something that I've done for actually kids in my neighborhood and kids at church are these crowns made of paper straws or, or any straws. But it's for the red chapter because red symbolizes royalty. Yes. Um, and so every crown, you know, you are a king or a queen. Of when you wear one. A princess, if you ask my two-year-old. Always. <laughs> Always. Yeah. So um, th this one, it's so simple, yet it's so easy. You probably have everything you need to make it in your in your house already. Okay, like what? So you just need a little bit of card, um, card stock. Okay. Or any type of paper, really. Scissors. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay. I see some tape. Tape. Glue gun. Glue gun. Okay. Straws. We have a limitless supply of straws right here. Um, and then you can just get them from the party store or any, you know, any party store. Really. Okay, so show us how to shape this. Okay, right? so we have different types of styles right here. We have, you know, the three. This is like our classic shape. I like this. You know, yes. add a little pom on top to decorate it. Uh -huh. And then you can have, if you, you know, want, have more time, you just cut different shapes of straws and then add them. Oh, I them. like this with kind of the steps. Yeah. And the varying heights. Yeah, and then if you're really going into it, you take this. <laughs> oh boy. And this is for like we need to we oh. need to crown okay, you. Okay, fine, please. Yes, I accept. Yes. What is happening here? You are a queen. That's actually bigger than my hair, which I don't often have the <laughs> opportunity to say many accessories fit that criteria. This is fun! Yeah. Yeah. It's stable too. You're, yeah. It's a sturdy dude. So you just cut them again at different heights so and kind of let's let's go through it. Is this the one we're making? No, because that will take too, way too long. Okay, okay. We're just gonna... At least you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, not for a, a couple minute segment. Okay, so I've already started this one, but what you do is you take your card stock. Okay. And then you cut about an inch. And you cut all the way down. Doop. And if you have glidey scissors like these, you can just go all the way down. They just whistled on over that, didn't they? <laughs> they <did>. Literally. <laughs> and I did a terrible job, but you cut two of them and then you have this. Okay. So you put them together to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to use a piece of tape. What was on the inside of this granddaddy one that made it so sturdy? Uh, same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just because the glue, they're glued to the cardstock. It okay. makes it heavy. Yeah, it was weighted. That was that was yeah. legit. This was legit. It's I don't do anything le illegitimate. <laughs> I know. I'm learning. Yeah. I'm learning that. You are the real deal, girlfriend. All right. So you put them together to make, you know, according to, I have a huge head, I've been told. I do too. Let's see. I, well, I always clarify, I have a big head in size. Look at, you look Not like a little ego. airline flight attendant. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Uh -huh. I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah, it's really cute. Well, I need your scarf. Hand it over. Oh, that yeah. Would that would be look. great. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you get your head thing, and then we have some straws. Okay. So if we're making, this one's my, oh, that one's seen better days. Here we go. Look at this, this one. This one. This is my favorite. I think this you need to put this one on. Do I volunteer to become <gasps> your model? Word. I love good? it. It's a delight. I sense slight patronizing in your voice. No, no, tone I would never voice. patronize. <laughs> okay. I would only encourage. This is cute. It kind of has kind of the arc of yeah. a crown. So you, you really what you do is you just 
you start, I like to put it directly on where the seams are mm -hmm. because then you can cover it up. Yeah. So then you put some glue. And how fun that straws come in all patterns and colors yeah, these days. Yeah, they do. And there's, if you can't find what you need at a party store, just go online. There's so many different patterns and colors. So then you put one straight in the middle. Uh huh. If you want to, you can just leave it, but that's pretty sad. Yeah, that's not working for me. No, we need it more. shouldn't work for anybody. So you glue before you'd cut. You glue before you cut because, okay. you know, as you go on, you're going to splay it a little bit. Let's mm -hmm. just do this so we can see how to do that. So you're going to so add a little bit of glue. So splay a little bit. We'll just do a three, a three straw crown. Three prong. A three prong crown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll here in Studio 5 today. My mom taught kindergarten for so many years, and she would make those little five-year-olds a crown for everything. So oh, like yeah? our town celebration of peach oh. days, they walked out with peach crowns. Kids oh, wait, that's really adorable. get into this, right? And adults, too. Well, yeah, we're not going to sell ourselves short on that. She's a girl after my own heart, absolutely. <laughs> all right, so then after they're all glued, uh -huh. you just cut them off at the end because you want to make a really straight line. Okay, it's got to sit on the head nice and... Whoa. Hello. That one flew. All right. So then they're perfectly cut on the bottom. Oh, I got it. So you yeah. cut from the bottom. You once you the bottom. Here, why not? Yeah. I mean, I'm just, this is my job today, apparently, is it to is. be the kindergartner. And you can room. keep it afterwards. <laughs> Thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, this is so fun. Just one of the many project, projects we will find in the pages of your brand new book. And you are holding a launch party to celebrate, right? Yes, we are holding a launch party to celebrate on April 26th. It's a Thursday. We're holding it at West Elm. And there's going to be prizes. Cricket is sponsoring it, so there's going to be a ton of maybe cricket machines to give away, great swag bags, signing books, lots of food, and maybe a surprise singer songwriter from LA is flying in for it. Are you gonna name drop? Not yet? I, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Details still yeah. in the works. So we yes. have to register or get tickets in advance? Yes, and I will be announcing it soon. Okay. So follow at How's Lars Built uh -huh. for tickets information. You're killing it in the world of creativity. We Yay. love following your feed and seeing all that your creative mind is putting out. So thanks for sharing. We Thank really you. appreciate it. And thanks for bringing that cute baby too yes. backstage. We've been having fun with him too. Thanks for